What is going on everybody? Quick little video and by quick I hopefully mean quick because I don't want to experience any kind of crashes. Just upgraded to a new AMD 9070 XT and you know the codecs are a little bit different than the videos so I'm kind of testing things here and there. If you want to hear about my upgrade, the 9070 XT, the 5700X3D, we can talk about that another time but today we want to talk about video ramp because I only like to talk about topics I'm pretty passionate about. So let's rewind back to what was it late 2019 early 2020 when I bought the RTX 3080. Great card. Good card. One of my favorite cards I've ever owned. But upon buying it I already had an issue. An issue that wasn't corrected until 2022 when they released a 12 gigabyte version. But to me, that kind of power for that card at 10 gigabytes of VRAM did not seem enough. And I don't understand what NVIDIA does. I mean, I do understand because they want you to spend more money at the higher tier end of cards, but they will make cards that are sufficiently more powerful than their VRAM requirements. And by, by that, I mean this. The 3080 needed 12 gigs of VRAM because it could probably push 12 gigs of assets. Meanwhile, we have cards that like the 5060 Ti that have 16 gigs of VRAM, and I'd argue that a card of that nature probably can only push 12 gigs of assets. So I, I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know their by-the-book strategy outside of them wanting you to pay more for less or them wanting you to just be dumb and make incorrect purchasing decisions. I mean, I've seen 3070 TIs that have eight gigs of VRAM and that right there just completely makes no sense. So I made this tweet. Let's find it and pull it up. This is my channel. If you want to subscribe, by the way, Black Bond, check out my prior videos. New Tomb Raider games means kid smooth. You owe me money, so pay me my money. And yet we have prior videos including, you know, frauds like, oh no, it's Alex, still lying, still talking about games they haven't played, the PC gaming dark age, because, you know, this whole RAM situation is kind of crazy. Should we be worried about Metroid Prime 4? I guess the reviews that we've seen right now can be cause of concern. And, you know, just overall, frauds being exposed for doing what they do best being frauds. So I made this tweet a couple days ago. VRAM requirements for 2025 might as well be 2026 because 2026 is coming. If you are on an eight gigabyte card and keep in mind, I'm talking about people actually gaming in 4k. These rules don't apply if you're gaming on 1080p. If you're gaming at 1080p, then you know, eight gigs is fine. If you're gaming on 1440p, I would say that 10 gigs would be fine. 8 gigs would still be a little bit pushy. But for people gaming in 4K, this is the requirements moving forward. If you were on an 8 gig card in 2025 gaming in 4K, you were on welfare. You are affectionately, effectively homeless. If you are gaming on a 10 gig card, you have received your eviction notice. You are now using all kinds of DLSS methods and reduction of settings and reduction of frame rates because you've been given your eviction notice. That's why I upgraded from my RTX 3080. 12 gigs, if you're at 12 gigs right now, you're fine. Still usable, but you're fine. I would not today go out and buy a new video card that has 12 gigs of RAM. I would not recommend that. I would recommend at least 16. But if you're still using a 12 gig card right now, it's still usable. You're good. What I would recommend buying is 16 gigs minimum. That is the minimum right now you should be purchasing a video card for a new purchase. You should not buy 12, even though 12 is usable. 12 is usable today, but you know, you're probably going to be looking to upgrade sooner or later tomorrow. 16 gig, 
minimum. As far as going above 16 gigs, I know they have 24 and 32. You are now gold chaining. Do you need 24 and 32? No. If you want to be hard eight times, you want to be my friend, you know, in the chat, I don't want to, you know, name people's governments, but he's got a 4090. If you want to be gold chaining, 16 gigs plus. Now, why do I say this? I say this to say this. Let's see. These are my 9070 XT. Uh, you know what? Let me show you my tuning settings real quick. So I dropped the power limit by 30. I increased the max RAM, or I'm sorry, the max megahertz frequency, the max frequency on the memory timings to 2750. I believe um, the default is 2518. I enabled fast timing. I have taken the voltage down to minus 70, and I've increased the max, the max frequency to 100. So what does this look like? This looks like a card that is running an unoptimized Helldivers game, because I like to, you know, run my games on Helldivers 2, all my benchmarks, all my stress tests, because you know this game runs like doll crap. Runs like doll crap. I was just playing Super Hell Dive, and you know, it was running at 74 degrees Celsius in the memory temps. But you know, the issue is right here. I'll show you. 125 frames, 136 frames. Higher frame rates mean using more VRAM and using higher temperatures. So, in actual real game setting, I probably wouldn't be using. 130, 140 frames max settings. It'd probably be in the 120, 110 frames is what it is. So let's go back. Lowering the voltage right now, you'll, you know, decrease your board power. I'm running at the low 200s, high 100s. GPU temperature is an ice cold 57 degrees Celsius. Utilization typically kicks up to 95 to 98. And temperature when I'm not just sitting here doing nothing is around 74. But again, when I'm just sitting here and it's running high frames is what it is. This is the number I want you all to be looking at right here. GPU memory utilization. That is a little bit over 10 gigs. 10 gigs and 213 megabytes. You know what happens when you go over your VRAM? Well, your system will start trying to pull from system memory, and system memory is not as fast as GPU memory. So, I said to say this, you're on a 10 gig card, and you're over, even by 200 megabytes, which would be the case right here, if I was on my RTX 3080, you are going to have problems. You're going to have issues, you're going to have stuttering, you're going to have lag, you're going to have frame skipping, you're, you're going to run into problems. That's why I say that, to say this, eight gigabytes, welfare. You are not going to be playing a game like Helldivers or many other games at 4K. 10 gigabytes, you, you have officially received your eviction notice. As you can see, 10 gigabytes is not enough anymore. This is 10 gigabytes at around 200 megabytes over. Your eviction notice is here. It is time to start looking for upgrades while you are lowering your settings. I feel like 12 gigabytes, you know, you have about two gigs of space over the 10. You're, you're pretty good. You are good. You are fine. Nothing to worry about. But again, if you are planning on buying a new GPU and you're trying to game in 4K, 16 gigs, that's what it is. <laughs> like J Main said, eviction notice... I'm crying. Is what it is, people. I mean, look, y'all can game at whatever you want. Y'all can game at whatever frames, whatever settings. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. It's up to you. That's the whole great thing about PC gaming. Do, do you have to go buy this? No. But if you're trying to play at 4K and, you know, higher settings, then yes, you will have to go buy this. I mean, you also got to figure there's unfortunately games that aren't exactly optimized the best. And I would hate to see somebody go out and spend money on a NVIDIA card and just not have the VRAM. 
you have a powerful card that's capable of pushing more than what your VRAM has to offer. And yet I'd also hate to see somebody go out and, you know, buy a weaker card that has 12 and 16 gigs of VRAM because your card really doesn't even have enough power and juice to be pushing those assets anyway. So I'm Black Bond, I mean, look, I've been around this computer thing for a while, I'm not here to claim that I'm a genius, I'm not here to claim that I'm the all-knowing and the almighty, but I have a good idea of what I'm talking about. If I'm wrong or if there's something I missed, feel free to let me know. I'm not one of these dudes that just wants to be right or has to be right about everything. If you really wanted to, you can turn your settings down, you can lock your frames down to 60 so you would not be utilizing it. You know what? In fact, let's uh, do a demonstration about that real quick. Let's go into Helldivers. We're utilizing a little bit over 10 gigabytes on the GPU side. So let's go into Helldivers real quick. Why don't we take the display and let's see, frame limit. on and drop it down 60. So as you can see right now, we're at a locked 60, 59, 60, whatever you want to call it. But let's check out the VRAM usage. Hmm. Unfortunately, the VRAM usage isn't dropping. The temperature dropped about four degrees Celsius, five degrees Celsius. But this game seems uh, power hungry with the VRAM regardless. So yeah, my point stands. My point's going to stand. And I'll reiterate it one more time. Eight gigabytes, you're on welfare. You are homeless. 10 gigabytes, you have now received your eviction notice. Your time is coming. 12 gigabytes, you're good, you're Gucci, still usable, you're fine. 16 gigabytes, this is what you should be buying minimum on a new card. If you want to go out and buy an old used card, 12 gigabytes. New card, 16. You want more than 16? Well, your gold chain is what it is. I don't make the rules, people. I don't. Let's see if anything's changed real quick. Nope, VRAM usage still exceeds 16, or 10, I'm sorry. So that is your VRAM PSA for myself, Black Bond. I am going to get ready, go out, enjoy my birthday week, my birthday weekend. Oh, man. Turn the big 4-0. Now uh, Tony in New York doesn't have to say pushing 40 anymore. He can say, I am 40. Still no grays and an immaculate hairline, though. Go, birds. Game at 5 o'clock. Home-cooked meal tonight. Can't wait. Y'all enjoy it. Enjoy your weekend, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your Hanukkah, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy whatever you're celebrating or you're not celebrating.